Uh, this is to Emily Margaret, and she uses the name Windsor, and uh, she's not a Windsor. Craig, C-R-A-G-G. -G. Uh, I'm putting this up, I hope, when I turn it around, it films, and I can get it up, because I've got a lot happen to my phone. I've got a new one, and still I'm having problems. But I don't want to get into that right now. I just want to put this up. I found out that... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have been posting on Facebook and um, YouTube, Google Plus, Twitter, uh, about my real name, Margaret Ann Windsor. I was kidnapped in uh, 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, and given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey, and married to Childers. In 1983, um, I learned of my kidnapping. And uh, before then, I always knew something was wrong, but I, I didn't know. In 83, I was uh, told about who my father is, Edward VIII, and my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, that was married. In th I'm not sure when they were married. I have no access to that. It was a plot to take my father down, and they did just that. Uh, but anyway, my father married my mom. Uh, she's a sister to artist Georgia O'Keeffe, American, and uh, 1935 or 36. It was not uh, my uh, my mother was not okay with uh, the family, but that's not it. It was a long plot to take down my dad. I mean, you got Winston Churchill, you got Roosevelt, the president who appointed Joe Kennedy ambassador to England until they kicked him out in 46. He was there in 36. So my uncle, I'm, I'm going to skip all this. I've put it up over and over and over, and I've put up documents. And the timeline is enough. Uh, you go to the timeline when I was kidnapped, when Wallace married the imposter, uh, and they became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Uh, he died in 72. They could dig him up. He's uh, an imposter. It was to take down my father and um, my mom. And then me, I was born in 39. And legal heir, my father had an addendum that was put through proper channels. And uh, if an heir of his be born, that it would not disinherit. I was born Victoria the second heir to the British crown the moment I took a first breath. It would have brought my father back as um, um, power of attorney and guardian. Well, that's when his brother George, illegal to six, and the global, what's the global government now? Your Illuminati, your Rockefellers, Rothschilds that control your press, etc., had me kidnapped. And Joe Kennedy, John Kennedy was a part of it. He was flying in there, too. The war was going on. They invaded Great Britain and had illegal treaties, okay, when they took out my dad and me. Now, I learned of my kidnapping in 83. I was in a political campaign and written a medical malpractice book, MD, a license to kill. I was writing about mind control murders, and I keep mentioning Mr. Flynn because he did uh, try to help. But he was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia in 78. I was living at Moonraker Apartments. And um, he um, was shot, and it was a program shooter um, in Lawrenceville. That's not far from where I was living. It was March the 6th, is what it was, of uh, 78 when he was shot. His attorney killed. I'm going to fast forward because the book, uh, I Almost Got Killed, April Fool Day of 80, had a letter from the FBI, and I've put all this up. If you care to look on YouTube, I have two accounts. Someone tried to destroy my phone a, uh, Easter this year, the day before Easter, and I want to cut to the chase here. I found out there's a woman later. I put all this up over and over since, well... Uh, 2012 and etc. And uh, plenty of support and everything on it. Now someone uh, told me that Emily, a woman claiming to be the daughter of Edward VIII, was on YouTube and that she even looked like me. Well I'm going to go to this. 
The woman contacted me through a Cabot, Margaret Cabot, out of Sacramento, I believe, California, said that I was her half-sister and I owed her blah, 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 this. Uh, uh, I don't owe the woman anything and she's not my half-sister. Anyway, I ended up, I did friend her once and then unfriended her and she came back somehow illegally on the, uh, Messenger. So I did talk to her some then. Now, this is all over, and I didn't have my messenger up anymore. And on YouTube, where I put my uh, uh, videos, she started contacting me under notices, and she it would. I I did call her back at one point because she would. Uh, well, anyway, she would say things. And by the way, she has made comments if they're still, if I can still get to them, everything that um, that she knows she's not uh, the daughter of King Edward the Eighth. Her deal and her uh, videos is what I caught, uh, finally caught. Um, her, she was born in. Uh, I believe 43 or 44. Now I was kidnapped in 41 and I was born in 39. The double married Wallace Simpson in 37. My father was forced to abdicate in 36 December. He was married to my mother. So he was never married to this woman. It was a plot to take him down, character assassination, and he did. So here you've got this woman that can use the Windsor name. I don't know how she's allowed to. She's very uh, well thought of, it would appear, up there. She's got her ducks in a row and everything. One problem, she's not his daughter. She's a phony. I don't know if she's CIA. I don't know. She went to George Mason University. Point being, she's not his daughter. If, indeed, her mother, I think I read where she was on in Germany at one point on Memorial Day when her mother got pregnant, and then the other was she was out uh, at a uh, kind of like Roswell, uh, like alien convention, convention, her mother, but her mother was also the war, uh, her mother was a nurse and was assigned, supposedly, to whatever you call it, entertain uh, the Duke of Windsor. Well, this is a phony. He's an imposter. He's not my father. So when I started telling her all this, I mean, she had him contact me that she was my half-sister. I think she saw then, I know she did, that uh, King Edward VIII is not her father. The double is... Uh, and I even said, dig him up and get his DNA. My dad, I was told by the British in October of 86 that my dad was still alive. And I'm going to go ahead and say it because it's true. My mother was down at the library here. My mother was like 45 when I was born. So I did get to see her one time. And I remember she was at the library uh, and... I reached up and kissed her cheek, and I started crying. So somehow I knew. I thought later it was Georgia because she was dressed like in the black and the cane, and then she was um, uh, the gentleman, I can't remember his name, that took care of Georgia, but then I don't know about that, uh, how much he took care of her, but this looked like the guy that was with her. So I'm going to skip that. She was here, and then... History says she died in 84. It, none of this is funny. It's so ridiculous and people fighting over things that aren't even theirs. Uh, but then my mother's alive then, and then the Google it and everything after I saw her in 86, she was supposed to have died in 87. So here you got her dead in 84. The whole history about my dad's nothing but a lie. So anyway, in 83, after then, I'd been in a political campaign to uh, uh, replace one of the doctors, Larry MacDonald, I had written about in the medical malpractice book in Mind Control. He went down in a plane, K-A-L, August 31st of 83. So never have I ever put up that my father and mother lived in Atlanta, Georgia, or anywhere, because I haven't known. I didn't find out myself till 83. 
Now then, I'm going to fast forward. I put all this up on YouTube, Facebook, Google+, etc. This Emily Windsor Craig, she uses the Windsor name. Uh, and people allowed it. She started coming on YouTube and leaving comments there. And then it she could get to my Gmail before I even, I'm not sure I ever really gave it to her. I think I did. And I did call her once. Uh, she gave me her uh, phone number. And she had my phone number because that Margaret Cabot got it way back uh, when I first heard about her. And she wanted me to call her because she said she was my half-sister. Well, this woman's really... Uh, she, well, she got her degree from George Mason, uh, so she's pretty organized and everything. She hasn't lived my life, not one moment of it. So I'm going to just end this by saying over the period of time, the last few months, I kept getting notifications from her. And then suddenly, a few days ago, I mean, there's a lot of them on there. A few days ago, she started saying that she wanted to ask me something personal. So I told her, well, you've got my... Uh, email address, I believe. You got my phone number. Just call me. And instead, she put on there that she was, um, <laughs> I don't know who she thinks she is, that she's going to verify, uh, you know. Uh, she's putting herself in charge, I guess. Anyway, uh, it's my understanding some of her YouTubes was where she thought she should be the Queen of England. And, uh, She's no, I'm finding out she's no better than Elizabeth. They're both crooked, uh, cold-blooded to have watched my videos and uh, all these years and then lie because I don't know if this is, it. it's her because you the icon on it will go back to her. She's made statements the last few days that, first of all, she wanted me to tell her where my father, Edward, uh, worked after, uh, I don't know what she's talking about. Because I didn't know about it until 83. I know what the British have told me. I know nothing else. How could I? I've begged for my name back for my children. I don't even know where they are. Instead, this woman has pretended to be a friend, then rebuffed. But it's been on, like, I don't know how she got on uh, Messenger. I really don't, after I be uh, unfriended or not that. Now then, she comes at me yesterday or day before and said that um, that anybody I forgot how she phrased it would know their father she was trying to find that find out where my father was I guess that she had to uh, know that the double if indeed he's even her father that she's not entitled to anything her mother got in bed with a spy a crook that doesn't entitle her to a darn thing, but, you know, she's kept it up. Anyway, so I don't sound babbling, because it's kind of hard to keep up with her notifications and my phone going out. She um, came back at something about, I, I did tell her, no, this was on the video I put up about now, NOW, National Organization of Women, and... Um, uh, Gloria Steinem. When I was out at Flint's during that campaign, uh, he gave me her phone number and asked me to call her and see if she could help in the campaign. She hung up on me. She's Jewish. I didn't know about uh, until a few months later about my real name and all that. So I've never put anything up any different until I went back on the notifications yesterday when she kept uh, putting the notifications through and they were, anyway, uh, on my YouTube, she claimed that I said my father, uh, Edward VIII, who she's trying somehow to get back to. First, she said that she was going to write another book. This is, has a woman flipped? First, she said that, um, there were several, I don't know what she's talking about here, that were left in the wake. I didn't do anything to these people. I didn't even contact her. She contacted me. Uh, she's not my sister. I hope she's not kin to me. But then uh, on this morning, I saw that there's just a lie up there. I don't. I didn't know you could change 
uh, the co your comments, especially if they're my comment. On it, it's got that, uh, that I'm saying that my mom and dad uh, lived in Atlanta, Georgia, which I have never made that comment. How could I have? I moved from there, and here I'm explaining myself to this woman or to people on YouTube. Uh, what were the other things? Somebody come up and ask, I guess it was her, I don't know, was my father and mother living on coupons back then. Now then, the way that she got me to, because I've asked her several times not to contact me, and she would, on YouTube this time, on the comments. Now then, yesterday, the way she got to me was she said that she had found a picture of my mom. Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, that she she's supposed to be investigating. She should investigate herself. Somebody should. But anyway, she um, said that my mom looked just like me. I've never had a picture of my mom. Everything has been destroyed, connected with my father and the lies, and the Winston Churchill was part of it, Roosevelt, the Kennedys, my own Uncle George VI, the Freemasonry, the Illuminati, or New World Order kidnap me. So, I don't know what else to say other than the woman, what is wrong with her? I did, do not change anything else that I have put on Facebook. I didn't know you could, but that has certainly been changed this morning. Uh, I ended up telling her, because my phone, I have problems with my phone, and uh, I told her, well, put it on Facebook. I'd even friend her back to get a picture of my mom, and um, I, I, I've gotten no results from her. I mean, the woman's coming on that she's tried, she's tried, she's sitting there waiting to send me my mother's picture. I told her, well then, if you can't understand this, put it up on a video. I'm sure my mother being the sister to Georgia O'Keefe, would uh, people would like to know. I said, it's easy, just put it up on a video so I can get it, and it's there, and I can see a picture of my mom. Now, she hasn't done that, and I know of. In fact, she was back on sometime in the night, and my uh, YouTube, under the comments, was all, part of it scrambled. What she was saying is so ridiculous, and never said by me, and, I, I, you know... She shouldn't be able to uh, alter my comments on there, and she certainly did. Nowhere have I ever, I didn't even know about my kidnapping until 83, late 83. And the British Embassy told me. So, um, you call on yourself Windsor, and you're not. I suggest you direct anything else to the British Embassy on M Street. You know where that is, don't you, uh, Emily? Do not put any of your lies up on, well, I'm sure you will, that's all you've ever done. I want to know, since you're not the legal heir, I, you're not even my father's daughter, what you, what dog you have in this fight. You are no better than Elizabeth, you're money hungry, so you stay away from me. And I doubt, seriously, you may come up with a photo, uh, why didn't you put it up last night and and uh, not go and change my comments on the notifications on a video of mine or videos on YouTube? Leave me alone. You're not a Windsor. You're using that name. You have claimed, and you stopped for a while, I believe, claiming to be the daughter of Edward VIII. That's a lie. Total blatant lie. Get off it, girl. I don't know who you are, but somehow you've scrambled up there and you've got people.